Team Drift Matsuri right now. There's about 25 minutes left of track time. So I thought I'd start shooting a YouTube video now. The beer can skyline is back. It's running. It's pretty good condition right now. It's okay. As with most drift cars that don't get uh, all the maintenance they deserve, uh, it's running about as good as you would uh, expect. This video is going to be kind of shot out of order. So we'll start with some driving here I did about an hour ago. Then we're going to show you some parts that I've installed in the car. The whole rear end of the car is now 100% sorted out. Then some more driving after that. Well, you'll find out. Here's some driving. Do a couple of laps on Higashi. Boost is on. Let's go straight into it, I guess. As you can see, the event is over now. Most people have gone home, but I'm still here, all right, because I want to show you some new parts that I've installed. Well, they're not really new. I've, it's been like a year by now, but I haven't, uh, I haven't made a video, so I feel really bad about it, so I better do it right now. All the arms on the rear are now fully adjustable with solid ends instead of rubber ones, and I've also reinforced the rear subframe. I got all these parts from a place in Australia called Otomoto. The guy, Ben, uh, who runs it, I used to work with him. And he was kind enough to send me a huge box of all these parts. Here we go, so ignore these coilovers for a second. We got the upper arms, right, traction rod, and lower arm. And this part here is pretty cool too. It's a high cast delete arm. Because normally, normally this arm here is just ignore this badly placed high cast line too. Normally there's a high cast ram like right here and these arms here are usually only about the diameter of a tie rod on the front. And the worst thing about these arms being thin is that they bend really easily. So if you hit something, especially here at Ebisu, it's easy to do. If you hit something even lightly with the wheel, it'll just bend and tow out and then you have to replace it. So you take off the high cast delete, replace it with these brackets here, this really thick arm, and you have to replace the bushing here with a slip-in bushing. So if you're going to install this part, you need access to a press, but as you can see, it's much beefier in diameter. So these are all the arms that Ben sent me. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben, very much. I apologize for not doing this earlier. Check out their website. It's uh, this one here, Otomoto. There's gonna be a link down below as well. Uh, ben sells lots of parts, sends them out really quick. Check them out. Thank you, Ben. The next thing I did for the rear end was get a subframe strengthening kit. And this is a problem that a lot of people who drift Nissans would have had before. The brackets that attach the arms to the subframe are quite thin. And especially in a course like ABC where everyone drives really hard and there's lots of places to go off and you know, drop wheels into, it's quite easy to like rip those brackets out, like either like rip them open or rip them off and you have to weld them back on. It's a huge pain in the ass. I came up with the great idea of doing a complete rear end swap here at Ebisu. 
I've done it before, but I underestimated how long it would take. Because this car is parked here and I live back in Tokyo, I thought the best way to do it would be get another subframe, get it all welded up with these frame strengthening kits that you can buy. It comes with these pre-cut, uh, pre-pressed shapes that you can just weld on. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea to get that done back in Tokyo. Uh, Nobu from Amazement uh, did them for me, welded them up, and I brought the subframe up here thinking, oh, I can just bolt all the arms on and bolt it up to the car and it'll be fine. What I didn't guess was, actually I'll show you. So these are the plates that weld on. This one here, and they're quite thick as well. This one here, this one for the upper arm, and this one over here. What I underestimated was these things are designed for the standard arms, and the bushing is quite small on those compared to these big thick ones on the aftermarket. So when I came up here to Ebisu and I bolted it all together, like I'd already dropped the whole rear end out of, out of the car, I started to assemble the rear end and I suddenly realized that the new arms were fouling on the plates. I didn't have a grinder on me and you saw how thick those are, it would have taken forever to do. I ended up with the car here with no rear end on it and I had to get back to Tokyo that day. So what I ended up doing was getting the car forklifted from the pits here down the back there where I store the car. It just barely fit and it was really, you know, it was front heavy, it was kind of awkward. I had to drop it down put it on jack stands and leave it there. Luckily, one of the guys who works here, Murasan, uh, thought it was funny enough that he forklifted the car all the way down there for me. I had to leave it there, then go all the way back to Tokyo with all my parts, take it back to Nobu, get Nobu to grind out little sections, you saw there before, the C-shaped sections so the arm would actually fit. I reassembled it all in Tokyo and made sure that it all fit before I came up, which is what I should have done in the first place. But let's not mention that. But it's survived two Matsuri so far and I've had some pretty big offs and it's still fine. The thing I need next is, yeah, these are they're leaking pretty bad, aren't they? These are really old Tain HA coilovers and I don't even think they make these uh, anymore in this spec. They're quite stiff, so I think that's gonna be the next step for the rear end. But once that's done, the rear end will be sweet. As far as the engine goes, it's still just the stock RB20 with the R33 turbo. It's still running the stock, uh, the little tiny one down here in the corner. It's no good. It needs an intercooler next as well. I am starting to look after this car a bit more. You know, it used to be just the, well, as you can see, let's just beat the hell out of it, you know, to, to get better. But, you know, R32s are getting a bit more expensive now and it makes sense to work on this. And I'm working on it. Ben also sent me the upper control arms for the front end. Uh, it's got knuckles in it, but maybe the lower control arms, I'll get some like lengthened ones, and then the front end will be perfect as well. It's like eight years I've had this now. There's Shino. Bye bye. Hi. What are you doing? This is Shino's comp car. Looks cool, doesn't it? And a truck matches. Bye. That's another guy in the Shinokoba crew, Meguro. He works there. All right, enough of this talk about the car. Let's go to the final session I drove on the uh, Toyo R1Rs. So we've got the Toyos on the back now. And I've got Johnny from Rollhard over there. There he is. I got Johnny from Roll Hard. Here he is, gonna start shooting. There we go. He's shooting on the camera. Hey, what's what's your what's your Instagram? There you go. Follow. You can follow him for some cool. He's a photographer as well. Okay, boost on. Hopefully, it doesn't get too hot. All right. Grip tires on the back. I don't think I've ever done this in the skyline.
Bart. sick before that was the sickest I've ever done that corner I was right over the edge of the ripple strip that was pretty dangerous though but I was fairly confident to do it oh man that was fun yeah oh, I only did like three laps too oh well going home. That's all from here today at ABC Circuit Spring Drift Matsuri. People in the US, I'll be at Lone Star Drift May 25th, 26th this month at the Houston Police Academy. They're actually building a replica of the beer can skyline. This is, this, here's the real one and this is how the replica looks so far. It's got Enki wheels on it, it's better than the real thing. So I hope to see a lot of you out there, uh, I hope to do a lot of passenger rides as well, it's gonna be good fun. So, thanks for watching. Here comes the garbage truck. I'll see you next time. Get better. Also, I'll be... He got stuck. <laughs>